Good morning, good morning, good morning, greater love. Good morning, welcome to our Sunday morning service this morning. Glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank God for blessing each and every one of us to come out today. He didn't have to do it. The Lord didn't have to wake us up this morning. Didn't have to make it, let us make it through another week. We thank God for blessing each and every one of us to come out. This morning I'm going to open up with our scripture this morning from Psalms, the 150th chapter. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbre and the dance. Praise him with the string instruments and the organs. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sound cymbals. Let everything that hath breath Praise ye the Lord. Amen. May God have a blessing to the reading of his word. Bow your hands for a word of prayer this morning, Father. We thank you for blessing to come out, blessing each and every one of us to come out this morning, Father. Father, we thank you for blessing us through this week, Lord Jesus, for just waking us up each and every day, Lord. Thank you for blessing our children today, Lord Jesus. Thank you for blessing, Lord Jesus, for the, the work that we're doing down here, Lord, during the week, Lord, serving, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, and ministering to those who are in need, Lord Jesus. We thank you for blessing the health and strength of uh, each and every one of us, Lord Jesus. We ask you to look upon our hearts today, Lord Jesus. We come to serve you today, Lord Jesus. We come to praise you today, Lord Jesus. We come to worship you this morning, Father. Father, we ask your blessings, Lord Jesus, on the service today. Bless the singing, Lord Jesus. Bless the worship today. Bless the word that's going to go forth. Father, we ask your blessings all through the rest of this week, Lord Jesus, for health and strength. Bless us on our job, Lord Jesus. Bless our children, those that travel today, Lord Jesus, Lord. Any, anything that we might do this week, Lord Jesus, we ask you to be in the midst of it. Touch our hearts today, Lord. Amen. Father, we ask all these blessings in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us stand on our feet for our congregational song. Mama Carter is going to lead us in, and I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Amen.
standing for our church vision and our mission. Repeat with me. We envision all Christians united in love, the Lord, serving the Lord as one body in Christ. Our mission is to win souls. At this time, we have our announcements from our announcing clerk, followed by our observation from the pastor and first lady. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Glory to God, our pastor, ministers on the roster, our elect lady. Members and friends, today is July 16, yeah, 2023. Yeah. Our church announcements are as follows. Today, the After Storm Ministry will be in celebration of their yeah, ministry. Yeah, yeah. The After the Storm Ministry is celebrating 15 years. All right. yeah. Minister Joseph Brown will be our speaker right. of the hour. Masks are optional in the sanctuary. Virtual Bible study takes place every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook Live. Please do not call Pastor Grant during that hour. The GLBC Outreach Pantry will be in operation this Tuesday, July 18th at 6 p.m. Please contact Sister Kimberly Evans for any questions or concerns. She is the director. Also, the GLBC Neighborhood Food Pantry will be in operation this Wednesday, July 19th, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Sister Faith Sterling is the director. Amen. Amen. Please support the GLBC Women of Love Ministry Wall of Money Fundraiser. Amen. 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 The fundraiser wall is in the rear of the church on the table. If you would like to be a blessing to that ministry, please take one of the envelopes and put the money amount in the envelope yeah. and give it to Elect Lady Grant. Amen. 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 And she also accepts cash out. Amen. 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 That ministry is for the community as well as yes, GLBC yes. members. Also, Elect Lady Grant is asking us to not donate school supplies this year. She is only in need of water bottles. Sister Rose, can you get that water bottle and hold it up? It's a, those are the type of water bottles she is in need of. The children need water bottles this year. She do not need school supplies because she has plenty from last year. So she is asking all of us to please donate the water bottles for the children. Amen? And you can take those water bottles to uh, her classroom and back. She has a box back there that you can put them in. Amen. The Apple Storm Ministry is selling new pens for $5. The pen is on one end and the highlighter is on the other end. So please support the Apple Storm Ministry. Amen. July 17th, Monday through July 23rd Sunday, the St. James Association will be in session at Mount Sinai Baptist Church, 8500 Cameron Road here in Austin. GLBC will still hold the Neighborhood Food Pantry on Wednesday, July 19th, but all other weekly meetings will be canceled during that week. Amen. 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 That's July 17th, uh, so that's this Monday through Friday. Save the date for August 6th at 2 p.m. Friendship Baptist Church, Reverend Nathan Pleasant, pastor, will be celebrating Women's Day. Amen. Our uh, only elect ladies, Amen. Sister Constance Grant, will be the guest speaker. Yeah, yeah. The entire church is asked to attend. Amen. 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 Also, Pastor Nathan Pleasant is asking for us to please participate in the Friendship Baptist Church is hosting a raffle ticket fundraiser. The tickets are $5 each or five tickets for $20. If you would like to purchase a ticket, he has plenty. 
or if you would like to just be a blessing and make a donation, you can do that at Pastor Pleasant's cash app, which is dollar sign Nathan Pleasant, and he will put your name on the ticket and take a picture of it and send it to you. You do not have to be present to win. The drawing will be held on Sunday, August the 13th. First prize is a Chefman's air fryer. Second prize is an espresso machine. And third prize is a $50 HEB gift card. Amen. 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 On August the 7th through the 18th at 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., the GLBC Golden Harvest Ministry Senior Camp will be in session. Amen. The theme is, We Are Not Alone. The scripture is Psalms 37, 25. We will offer information helpful to seniors 65 and over, caregivers, games, lunch, light snacks, and door prizes. Registration fee is $20. See Sister Vivian Smith, who is the director. Amen. Amen. On August the 27th at 10 a.m., the women of greater love will be in celebration of their annual. Amen. Our only lady, Sister Constance Grant, will be our speaker. Amen. 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 The Women's Day Committee is taking orders for corsages to be worn on Women's Day for $6. Please give it to Sister Beth or Sister Davis by the 30th of July. Our colors for this year are white with any shade of green. The obligation for this year is $50. Please see Sister Best, who is the chair, or Sister Davis, who is the co-chair, for further information. Amen. Can we say free? Free. 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 free? Yeah, yeah. Free Dental Clinic at Rose Dental Group, yes. Saturday, August the 26th, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can call 512-795-0008. The address is 6211 West William Cannon in South Austin. Please call early to get your name on the schedule, or you may see Sister Lois Williams today who have the cards with all of the information on it. And she would like for the Greater Love family to get on that list first. Amen. So she is asking all of her Greater Love family to either call that number or to get with her on today because she want to get as many of the Greater Love members on that list as she can. Amen. Amen. And that's a blessing. As I said before, it is free. Amen. So if you are in need of any type of dental care, you or your family, please see Sister uh, Lois Williams on today. Our thought of the day came from Sister Sandra, who said she read this on Sister Heron's Facebook page. You're churching, but you're not changing. You're praying, but you're not believing. And you're singing, but you're not even free. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Pastor Isaac Grant Jr. Well, bless his name. Yes. You like that? Yes. All right. You like that? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glad to be here one more Sunday. One more day. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And we should not take it for granted. We welcome you to the Greater Love Baptist Church, 6601 Main Road, at the Wild where we raise the roof. Friends and families, our Facebook audience, and uh, we welcome you as well. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We greet you in the, in the spirit of gladness. 
Cause David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad. So many times we come to church any kind of way. But David said he was glad. My soul was glad just morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this is good. This, this is a good thing. Um, listen, uh, we 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 celebrated two two grown ups in our first loving. Uh, and uh, I don't want to forget the kids. I got to I got to put them in there. And uh, this young lady, who we want to. Show some love to this morning. Uh, seen her grow. I always tell y'all, you gotta have a backup for everything you do. Amen. Everything need a backup. You know? right. Don't need to let yourself be just that single person because when you are out, somebody else has to step up to the plate. So I'm grateful for Sister Sandra this morning. Y'all say amen for her. She really stepped up to the plate this morning. And, I mean, I know her well. She said some things this morning that was really real. And I just want to say as your pastor, I'm proud of you. Because what she going through now, she's been breaking and oh, but she, she's learning and she's growing in the things of the Lord. Come on, somebody say amen. She's growing in the things of the Lord. And so we thank God for her. But this morning, I, you know, I get the names mixed up. I, I ask him on the hallway, all that. But it, Maya. Where you at, Maya? Maya. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. yeah, anyway, baby, come on. Here you are. You stepping up. Yeah, you doing announcement and all that kind of stuff. And, don't you know as a child, you're growing up, Lord have mercy, you're growing up and you're going to stay with the Lord, stay with the Lord. Listen, you're at an age now where boys is calling. Yeah, they saying all kind of things. Calling you all in the world, you fine. You tell them, yeah, you fine in the Lord. Come on out of here now. Yeah, because you're at that age now when they're coming, they're coming. Listen to me. Yeah. But you know to stay with God. So I just want to tell you, on this morning, we love you. I want you to stay with the Lord, but we love you, baby. I love you. And on this bag is say, know your worth. Yeah. Don't let nobody make you feel small for that cost. Know your worth. God is, God is doing some tremendous thing in your life, and uh, you gotta, you gotta be. Everybody need to be encouraged. And if you're sitting in here today and you say, "I don't need no encouragement," I need to know your recipe. That means you, you living above everything. You ain't got no issues, no problems. You ain't got nothing. But what up, man? What's up with you? You got to know your word. You got to know your word. So listen, uh, I want to thank God for a special friend who rolled up on me today. I hadn't seen him since the pandemic. Uh, we used to get together, and he knows me back when I was pro. <laughs> when I was pro in my bad days, he knows me. We worked together, then we left the job that we were working, we went on separate things, he got his own business, I kept going, and then I finally retired. And uh, I often talk about him, but I never get a chance, and I always say, I need to call him, I need to call him, so we can eat dinner or something, eat some fish. I, but I don't, I don't do too much of that fried stuff no more, because you're getting older, and uh, you gotta try to take care of your body. 
But um, I, I'm so grateful to see him, his wife, and his mother. I, I love them for real. Yeah. Man, this is my real friend. This, this is my friend who grow. Come on by, man. Get a little something over here. You know, I know you're passing everything, you know, so I'm grateful to see him. Y'all stand up, man. Tim, his wife, and his mother, man. Come on, we love y'all sitting there, man. Come on, man. Let me see this. That, that's my real friend right there, man. That's my friend. And I, I, I had to hug him five, five, six times when I saw him because I hadn't seen him in a long time. And sometimes, you know, you can't take friendship for granted. No, right. not, not when it's real friendship, you don't That's take that right. for granted. Y'all ain't hate me. You, you just don't take that for granted. So I'm, I'm so glad to see him. And then, after Tim came, then I saw Big Ed. Big Ed, the policeman of the community. He don't want me to say it. He don't want me to say it. Big Ed, come on, let's go. Big Ed, come on, let's go. Post up right there at Greater Love. Amen. He really did outside when he was working for the department. Amen. And uh, it's good to know people like that. Amen. So, Big Ed loved me, so you fooled me if you want to. <laughs> oh, no. Big Ed loved me. I done told you now. Big Ed packing gun and everything. And fooled me if you want to. <laughs> Big Ed is coming. So, Great Love, I thank you. Hey, we had a wonderful time at the fish fry yesterday. In a matter of yeah. seconds, yeah. it just it just amazes me sometimes uh, what we can do here on this corner. Yeah. For real. I, I'm not lying. I, I, I'm gonna put some stuff in action because look, in a matter of moments yesterday, uh, Sister Livio came to me in a matter of moment and they raised eleven hundred dollars. We on the corner where everybody has Yeah, yeah. What we can do is every. Yeah. <laughs> we can do this every Saturday. No, for real. We can do this every Saturday, man. We can do. We can do some amazing things. Amen. Some amazing things on this corner. Now, now I was told we came. We came build over this way. Something about pipes and whatever, but we can get back to you with that. But we gonna we gonna have a drive going. Uh, I'm getting it together as as I speak in my mind. We gonna have a drive going, and I I just you know some things Pastor Carter saw before he All left right. here. All right. He saw that wing. All right. And it was completed. Amen. Cause he saw it. Yeah. I didn't say you saw it. He saw it. He saw it. And so, I've been thinking, you know, and I'm going to get my little panel together and we're going to discuss it because I know how folks are. Uh, I'm thinking on this corner, and I'm thinking about the next generation that's coming behind us. I'm thinking about me and I. I've been doing this for 24 years. I'm thinking about the next generation. If we build a life center right back here Amen. where you already got the parking people that can't afford to go pay thousands of dollars to have anniversaries parties and motels we can gain from that Amen. That, that really will pay for itself Amen. you know ain't nobody gonna talk back to me Y'all scared when it comes when it comes to that, but you got to have faith in God to believe it. Anybody in my Bible study know that we're going to the next level? Come on, if you're in the Bible study, you know we're going to the next level. It's the next level. You got to believe in God for the bigger things in the next level. You do. Can I just be real and honest with y'all? Everybody not gonna hear. Hear my voice, but somebody is. Yeah. Now me and my wife, we started.
somebody just giving out the thing. Giving, we, Joseph, I owe you something because I've been giving out gifts once too. I didn't give you anything. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, Miss Kim McGarry, I gotta say it, man. Yeah, you yeah, probably yeah. don't want me to, but I got to say it. Miss mm -hmm. Kim McGarry heard the boys. Uh -huh. And Kim McGarry takes my wife, and she gonna be the one making my little gifts for me. All right. Come on, y'all. And see, that helps everybody. Yes, it does. It ain't for everybody. I'm trying to teach somebody now. It ain't for everybody. Because y'all ain't gonna hit nothing. Some of y'all ain't gonna hit nothing. I ain't gonna do it. ain't nothing. I keep trying to tell you that it's not about you. It's all about him. When we, when we get this in our spirit, we're gonna be good. Look at your name and say it's all about him. Ain't got, ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't got nothing to do with you. It's all about him. And I'm grateful. I see somebody else and I want them to stand. I just love people, man. And I, can nobody take that away from me? That's right, man. You can try. Say it, Pastor. You can say he's too. Uh -huh. When I get to heaven, I want to be like Jesus. Jesus loved the world so much that he died for him. And a lot of times I got to die so other folks can live. Yeah. But uh, I, this young man even came down. He always coming uh, when his mama had some like birthday parties and all that. And I just said in my spirit, I never even recognized the whole thing since he's been here. That's just Vivian Smith's That's grandson right. and her son. coming in business. We, we really appreciate that. Amen. Great love, we're in for a good day. I'm going to sit down with the mic because I know some of y'all saying sit down, sit down. It's tithes and offering time. It's tithes and offering time. Man, let's take this five minutes to raise this one million dollars for the service of the Lord. We have an offering, we have a benevolent basket for those who want to give at this time we'll turn it over to the off to, to the ushers and the deacons Ministry, please donate for that one. Also.
gospel and prayer this morning. May the seed never leave my life, but go into my future, multiply, and come back good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over, and God's sovereign seed. I miss one announcement and uh, oh my heart um, Minister Hatch uh, let's pray for uh, yeah, yeah. Elder Aretha yeah, yeah, yeah. and David and that family yeah. uh, I don't know how I missed that because Minister Hatch was faithful at this church one thing he left with us we can run and be free come on talk back to me I feel like we can run and be free Apple praise.
without God's mercy, God's grace. Now, if it wasn't for your grace, where would I be? I'd be like a ship lost without a sail. Thank you, Jesus. Endure it.
your side. Thank you, Lord. Whatever someone's going through today, just know God's on your side. One person plus God equals majority. So we know we've got the victory if God's on our side. Testimony. I thank God for my pastor. God 
say they'll send pastors according to God's own yeah. heart. Yeah. 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 But I, this is not just a pastor. This is my yeah. pastor. Yeah. 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 Grand Junior. Yeah. Always open. I thank oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to say the First Lady Constance Grant. Bless you. Acknowledge her Christians, members, deacons, and friends. Just so Amen. glad to be yes. in the service Amen. one more time. Amen. Amen. I was happy just sitting down there playing yeah. the keyboard and ministering from the keyboard. Yeah. 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 Ministering on my job, ministering yeah. outside yeah. of these walls. Yeah. Because we know that's where the work of the Lord is. Yeah. Yeah. We come in to learn. Yeah. Yeah. We go out to serve. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what this sermon is about, sir. Yeah. The Lord. Being in God's service. Yeah. Yeah. Serving God today. Yeah. I've got one more acknowledgement that I have to make, and I promise I won't keep you long. That's all right. But this acknowledgement that I'm going to make Amen. is the sugar in my Kool-Aid. Amen. Amen. She said, get on that one. Get up and go home. Right. If everyone in the world was to disappear, she would be the one I'd be searching for and see. And then when I found her, I'd be okay. It's my wife, Josie Brown. If you just look at her, you know God's on my side. A wise preacher once said that a good sermon should be like a woman's dress. Short enough to get your attention and keep it, but long enough to cover the subject. <laughs> Scripture will be coming from Matthews, the 25th chapter, amen. the 14th through the 30th verse. When you get there, say amen. amen. I want to tell you, I will be going through several verses, and I'll let you know where it's found at, but I'm going to continue on uh, for the sake of time. You can read it later, uh, just to verify that what Minister Brown was saying wasn't his own. I'm not that smart to make it up. So I try to stay with right, the word yeah. of God. That's all right, child. The grass may be flower faded, but the word of God shall be bear forever. Jesus spoke to the people in parables. Parables that would let them know and convey to them uh, that was related to what they're going through in their days and in their time. The shepherds, he spoke of uh, shepherds, him being a good shepherd. Uh, different uh, avenues to, to just relate more to the people. He met them where they was. He lowered his understanding so he could, he could go ahead and let them know, hey, you don't have to you know, be up here to receive my word. I'm right here with you. A lot of times people don't want to know what you know until they know how yeah. much you care. Yeah. So Jesus lowered himself yeah. 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 and gave him these parables yeah. so he can let you know I'm right here with you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 All right. Thank you, Jesus. 14 verse reads, again, it would be like a man going on a journey mm. who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. Okay. To one he gave five bags of gold, mm -hmm. to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Yeah. Right. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold yeah. went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. Yeah. So also the one with the two bags of gold gained two more. 
But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of the servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. This is the verse we're really going to focus on. The reward. His master said, replied, well done. Good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Other versions say, come, enter into the joy of the Lord. Amen. The man with the two bags of gold also came to the master, and he said, Master, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many All things. Right. Yeah. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. Mm -hmm. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Uh, well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers uh, so that when I return, I would have received it back with the interest. Yeah. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to one who has 10 bags. Yeah. For whoever has will be given more yeah. and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gashing of teeth. And you may be seen. I got from that. I think Sister Deborah Rose was starting the After the Storm ministry. Because after the storm, there should be some peace. There should be some hope. Uh, and there should be some joy. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God because as Christians, that's what we're here yeah. to, to stand and to represent and to give a person just a hope shot. Yeah. 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 I thank Sister Rose for giving me an opportunity for Amen. choosing to yeah. deliver the word today. She could have chose anybody. Amen. That's all right. I just thank her Amen. for a favor. Amen. 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 Our subject today wow. is a good and faithful servant. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. In God's service, serving God. Yeah. Good and faithful serving. In God's service, serving God. We have a lot of good and faithful servants. Yeah. The only thing about it, they're faithful at serving themselves. Yeah. We're not talking about that servant right here. Yeah, all right. We're talking about the service that's in, that's in God's service. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing glory to God's name. Whatever they do. Yeah. Yeah. In all things you do, yeah, yeah. do it unto yeah. the glory yeah. Yeah. of God. Yeah. And we're talking about those servants right there. Yeah, yeah. Good, faithful servant. Yeah. Amen. In order to be a good you, and faithful Serve. We're gonna have to sacrifice some things. Yeah, come on. Yeah. We're gonna have to sacrifice some time. We're gonna have to sacrifice our finances. Yeah. We're gonna have to sacrifice our feelings, yeah. our emotions, yeah. 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 and get hidden under the blood. Yeah. 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 Good and faithful servant. That's what we're talking about today. The world has its military. Oh. Mm. In the military. There's a certain thing called the secret service. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. That's when you're in the military yeah. and they don't know that you're in the military. All right. yeah. No. Yeah. In God's service, there is no secret, secret. Yeah, service. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 
A lot of us want to be in the secret service. Oh, we, we, we'll, come, we'll come in here and it's easy to oh. shout to throw up your hands. Watch it. Maybe do a little dance and say, oh. say that, Pastor. Yeah, oh. yeah. And then when we leave, oh. Oh. the temptations come. Oh. And the trials come. Oh. Oh. And we see somebody that we like that we know. Oh. Come on. We're not supposed yeah. to be around. Oh. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. Well, if I tell them I'm a Christian, uh, they won't like me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe you're in a secret <laughs> service. Come on, child. You might see somebody in a grocery store. Uh, a woman cuts in front of her. Uh, she reach out to just pull her weave out of her ears. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> There's a few Christians behind her. Look like she said, dog. Ain't that Sister Sally Sue? Yeah. I thought Sister Sally Sue was a Christian. Cause she walked to the church on the rock in the green pastures. Come on, child. Come on, child. Yes, child. She goes there. Well, ain't she a Christian? Friend will look at her and say, maybe she's in the secret service. <laughs> And hides it, but sits yes. <laughs> on a hill yes. where it can be seen. Right. Man, where everybody knows. Right. As Christians, we have to let our light shine and yes. get out of that secret yes. service. Yes. 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 I said before, if, if, if uh, in the service, there's two things that you're, you're serving. You're either yes. serving yourself mm -hmm. or you're serving God. Right. In God's service, we're in God's service, or we're serving ourselves. Yes. 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 So if we're in, the, in God's service, we got to let it be known. Let the redeem of the Lord yes. say so. Yes. No matter how embarrassing it might be, somebody might think, oh, they got it all together. Mm. Let them know, hey, I don't have it all together either. Oh, yeah. But I'm striving and I'm trusting in God. Yeah. Where I used to be, God brought me out. I used to be in the same position that you was in. But look, if he can do it for me, he'll do the same thing. We have anybody in here in the Secret Service? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're not about the time that we threw. You'll come out of it. Amen. But what's our idea of being in God's yeah. service? How are they going to know that we're Christians? Yeah. Come on. By the Christ that they uh, see. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Right. There should be some kind of Christ if you're a Christian. Some kind of trace of Christ yeah. if you're a Christian in you. Yeah. 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 If you're a Texan and you're living in Texas, sooner or later, you're going to see somebody with some cowboy boots. Yeah. 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 I have a cowboy hat on. Right. They might even say, yeah. <laughs> when you ask them what their menu is going to be, four out of ten times, they're going to have some gumbo on that plate, on that menu because they're Louisiana's. If you're a Christian and people see you, you should see, they should see a little compassion. Oh yeah, they should see a little meekness and humbleness. Yeah. They should say, you sure are holy. You don't do the things that the regular world do. And they should see some love. Come on, they yeah. love. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should see some self-control. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she talked to him like that, and he talked to him like that, and they didn't blow up. Uh, yeah. something for I know that's right. I wonder what it is. Make people wonder yeah. what it is. Yeah. What is this? They won't let me hold my peace. Oh, yeah. yeah. right. That makes me laugh when I should be tired. Uh, what, yeah. what is this? Yeah. It's the Christ yeah. inside. That is our yeah. idea yeah. for yeah. being in God's yeah. earth. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Look around and see what you can see. The Christ. I see Christ inside. Man, yeah. 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 In here. Yeah. Man. Come on, child. Thank you, Lord. Thank I'm going to give you an example. We've got some guys at my job. I ain't gonna tell you where I work. But they're not even, they're not even uh, thinking about God. 
Yeah. You know, they, they come in, in, in the break room and uh, they're cursing up a storm. Mm -hmm. But then I get a, they get an assignment with just me and them. We're on the road. First time they say a curse word, they look at me and say, Oh man, I'm sorry. Come yeah. on. Yeah. 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 They're not saying that to me. Yeah. All right. They saying that to the Christ. Yeah. right there. No secret service. No more secret service for me. Yeah. I don't go those places where I used to go. I don't yeah. Yeah. Even then they would see some Christ in me. Yeah. 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 If you're going to be in God's service, we have to be available. Man, it's a song that says, Mr. Bronson took his pen and say, you gave me my hands to reach out to me, to show him your love and your perfect plan. You gave me my ears. I can hear your voice so clear. I can hear the cries of sinners. Can I wipe away their tears? Lord, you gave me my voice yes. to sing your word, to sing all your praises oh, yes. to those who never heard. Yes. But with my eyes, I see a need for more availability. Yes. But with my eyes, I see a need for more availability. But with my eyes, I see a need for more Availability. Come on. Maybe I'll be available. Yeah. Maybe I'll see a place to where I'm needed to serve in the church. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe I'll go to the person who was serving in that position before they left and ask them, hey, how do you do this? Uh -huh. And instead of just having the one talent, after they've schooled me and shown me how to do it, I'll have two talents. Hey. Uh -huh. And I can use my talent in that position. Yes, I'm right. getting a little bit ahead of myself, but that's no, it's all right. That's part of the parable right there, man. Yeah. 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 Increasing your, your talent. Yeah. Yeah. So available. We have to be right. available if we're going to be yeah. in, in right. God's service. Uh, a, a great man of God, Pastor uh -huh. Gary D. Brown of Friendship Baptist Church that passed on, God rest his soul, used to tell me all the time, Minister Brown, it's one thing that a person can't do, and that's serve in absence. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not here, you can't serve. Come on, man. Uh, we can't serve. And I thank God because right, we serve the community. Yeah. Uh, always yeah. giving the food away. Yeah. Some people are not working. They can make it here. That's right. But it takes sacrifice yeah. to come. Yeah. But it's time for us to say, Lord, I'm available. Yeah. 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 It won't get done if we don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's work to do. Yeah. I'm talking about the physically being available. Yeah. 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 But then there's a metaphorical availability. Mm -hmm. When people see you, you have to show up. Yeah. Right. 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 What you am I talking yeah. about? I'm not talking about the central side of you. I'm talking about the Christ they see mm -hmm. right. yeah. Man, in you. Yeah. Yeah. The Christ they see in you has to show up, has to be available. Where? On your job. Where? Yeah. In the grocery yeah. store. Where? Yeah. Outside these doors. Where? Yeah. Mostly in your home. Yeah. 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 Since I've given my life all the way to Christ and God has delivered me, yeah. 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 my wife has been the happiest wife. Yeah. 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 My 
my kids come to me, you know, now and sit down and we can actually have a real good conversation. Yes, God will make it sweet. God will make it sweet. Work it out so you're good. So in order to be in God's service, you have to be available. Yes, Amen. Number two, we have to be adaptable. Uh -huh. yes. Adaptable to our environment. Yes. Adaptable to the people we serve. Yes. Let me put these glasses on. In 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, mm -hmm. the 19th through the 23rd verse, Christ said, even though I am free, I think this was Paul, I'm sorry, said, even though I am free, I have become a slave to all Christ, to Christians. Amen. What he means by that, even though he's free, he's came down to that level just to win Christ. Yes, just yes. all for the glory yes, of God. Yeah. Yes, what he's saying is that when I see uh, Brother Curtis, yeah, he's yeah. a good and faithful yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. There are a whole lot of good and faithful servants yes, in greater love. Amen. Man, they're good at serving. Yeah. I could call everybody's name, but I don't have enough time. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. The good are serving, and they're better. They Amen. committed Amen. to serving God. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So that's why the church is prospering. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Because of the good and faithful servant. I was Amen. talking about Deacon Curtis. When somebody home is coming in, yeah. not smelling you know, too good, because yeah. pastor said everybody that come in is not going to smell. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Right. He go sit right by. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know that's right. They be out want to raise their hand in the middle of a sermon. Or something. Yeah. 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 They might have a question to ask, and you'll take them Amen. right outside. Yes, you will. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's being a good, yes, faithful yeah. 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 Being adapted to the people. Yeah. That you serve. Yeah. If you see somebody outside, you driving in the car, yes. you know they're in the hot sun with that with that with that sign up. Take them a nice cold bottle of water, yeah. and then tell them something about Jesus. Yeah. 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 Tell them your experience, your yes, strength, sir. and your hope. What about you? Being adaptable to the people yeah. that we serve. Being adaptable yeah. to our environment. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. we had some evil. Yeah, yeah. The days are evil. Yeah. Man, yeah. Yeah. There was a time when we could see somebody on the side of the road uh -huh. and just stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like the good Samaritan. Yeah. 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 These days, if you don't know who you're stopping, yeah. 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 you can do them a service by calling 311. Yeah. 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 Or by calling Triple A. Yeah. Yeah. You did them a service. Yeah. 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 Right. You kept them yourself. You you right. Right. Yeah. So we have to be adaptable yes. Yes. Man, to the people we serve yes. and to our environment. I'm yes. getting ready to come to a close. That's all right. Let me use you, child. Give me time. Let me use you, child. Now I'm going to say this. What well, point three is first, and then I'm going to give us an example. I hope I have an abortion. I hope I'm, I'm still telling you. Got you. Now these scriptures that I, I, I quote and make sure you, you look them up so you can get the full meaning. Amen. 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 Point three, in order to be in God's service, serving God, you have to be approachable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we don't yeah. get nothing else yeah. out of this message, oh, yeah. I want us to get this yeah. because yeah. now I'm going to answer the text, the 25th chapter of Matthew oh, 4, right. through the 30th uh, verse. We're going to explain it in this full content. The master yeah. on a journey leading. Called his servants, gave them talents. Yeah. Expecting them to multiply yeah. the talents for his uh, kingdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For his glory. When he got back, some had made good use yeah. of their time. Multiplied their talents. Lord, you gave me five, now I have ten. Uh -huh. Lord, you gave me two, and now I have four. Yeah. But then there was one yeah. that God gave one talent. Uh -huh. They figured that their talent wasn't as significant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They couldn't sing. 
yeah. as well as Sister Nita. Yeah. Yeah. And Sister Sherry could yeah. sing. Yeah. 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 They couldn't pray yeah. as well as Deacon Smitty can pray. Yeah. Come on. Oh, God. They didn't know the right words to yeah. say when going to comfort somebody yeah. Amen. Yeah. that has yeah. lost. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Come on, man. Come in the church, oh, nobody talks about me, nobody encourages me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe my talent is not important. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just you sit down and, and, and not do nothing. Yeah. 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 Oh, my talent ain't important. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So not true. Everybody in here yeah. yeah. is important. Yeah. Yeah. There's people in here. Oh my goodness. Oh God. It's got multiple talents yeah. and multiple yeah. gifts. Yeah. Yeah. If we would just use our talent, we could make a difference. Yeah. 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 This church would be full and overflowing. Yeah. Yeah. The community would change. Yeah. The people on your job would change. Yeah. Yeah. Your home Come on, Joe. would change. Yeah. Yeah. Just being present. That's right. Amen. When you come to Sunday school, somebody might say, Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Minister Joseph, he's he been coming to Sunday school pretty regularly, man. Maybe he's liking what I'm teaching. Maybe I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. a little bit harder. Yeah. Yeah. Mama Sandra is another good and faithful Amen. Sir, yeah. She doesn't say much, yes, she but she has the ministry. Yes, she oh, is. Amen. Yeah. 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 In the Lord. So God, he's invoking us to use our talents. And not only use our talents, but to multiply them. Yeah. Yeah. Ask him for increase. Yeah. Yeah. A good example. Now, I know I've been blowing up my wife. My wife is a faithful, good and faithful servant yeah. to her church, to where yeah. she serves at you her job. Yeah. Yeah. When the deacons aren't around, she has the key to the church. She opens up the church. She'll come in if nobody's on the door, Urshan. She'll stand up and she'll Urshan. Wow. Whenever they have food, she's in there running the kitchen. She has no plates ready. You know, she has to go plates. Yeah. She doesn't like to hang around, but she'll have them to go plates ready. Yeah. Whenever the sound gets crazy, now I'm really uh, amazed by this. She'll run upstairs and she know what buttons uh, to push. <laughs> Sister Vicki Williams, oh, I love her. Yes, yeah. Amen. Was a valuable access for the beautiful yes. Christian singer, yes. director, yes. multi talented yes. for her church. Yes. And she just recently passed away. So they didn't have anyone to direct the choir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My son and my wife got home on Thursday. The next day, my son come to me and say, <laughs> Hey, you know, Mama's got to get to the choir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait a minute, say that again. Mama's got to the choir. Amen. Oh, I said, now, she's been with me over 30 years. They're thinking that she knows what she's doing because she's been with me. <laughs> and I said, she's already opening the church. She's already serving on the nursery board. She's already running upstairs. Is I really running the kitchen? I said, they trying to kill my wife. What the hell is that? I said, maybe I need to call the pastor and tell him to ease up a little bit on my wife. My son looked at me and said, Dad, she loves what she's doing. Yeah. So I said, well, you know what? It's not about me. Yeah. It's not about me. I looked at one of the broadcasts. You're right, you're right. And yes, she was. <laughs> I even stole some hand moves from her. The next week, she was up leading the song. In our 30 years together, I've never heard her lead a song. So what she did, she saw a need. Yeah. She went out. Yeah. She yeah. learned how to do that. Yeah. And she multiplied her talent yeah. yeah. for the glory yeah. of God. Yeah. And you want to be a leader. Yeah. You've been elevated.
ready to yeah, leave yeah, them. Yeah, they yeah, right, right. Everybody know that you ain't in the secret service. They know who you serve. But you're feeling inadequate. You don't know how to leave. Look around. Uh, I recommend that you go to Deacon Wilson. All right. He's got great leadership skills. Yeah. To leave. He led Walmart for yeah. years yeah. until he retired. Right. I'm not going to tell all your business, but he's even expanded right. his talent. I think he's running Capital Metro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all doing. I, leave. I recommend that you go know right. to leave the wheels yeah, 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 yeah. You might see somebody on the street homeless. You said, man, if I could just build. If I could just build something, just drive a right. barrel yeah. onto a habitat yeah. for humanity and yeah. build them a house. Yeah. That'll bring glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. Look around you. Yeah. Look around you. Yeah. That old Seuss, he's a master builder. Yeah. Yeah. What you do? Yeah. What, what courses do I need to take to get skilled yeah. to build this town to where I can be a blessing to somebody yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah. Bring God glory. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Seuss might even say, well, hey, come on to get yeah. y'all with me. Yeah. 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 Man. But if a Seuss and Deacon Wilson is not approachable, yeah. Yeah. then the body of God can grow. Yeah. 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 He's got to be on enough to say, hey, I'm going to share my talent with you. Yeah. 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 And share his talent. Yeah. 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 Say, hey, I'm going to share my talent with you. Yeah. We've got doctors, we've got lawyers, we've got nurses yeah. 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 around here in the body yes, of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many members, but one wow. body. Y'all, yeah. this is real. We need to That's get it. real. Are we part of the body or we not? The highest praise. Yeah. Yeah. So that when he comes back, yeah. Yeah. we can hear him say, Well done, yeah. my good and faithful yeah. yeah. If you raise a family, mm. you got teenage kids and you want right. to raise them yeah. in the right way to where they feel God. Yeah, yeah. Where they're faithful and committed to God. And you, you're not sure on how to do it. I recommend you go talk to Sister Simon. Come on, Amen. Come on. Come on. All of her kids, they, they've had an encounter with God. Yeah. I can tell you that much. I can tell by the way that they serve because they're good yeah. and faithful yeah. servants. Yeah. Even at this age, now you're president. Amen. Yeah. You got Connie who leads about 40% of the songs. Yeah. And if you really want to hear something, you really want to see some Christ in somebody, yeah, yeah. ask JoJo to pray. Yeah. That didn't come from uh, osmosis. Uh, that didn't come from her saying, oh, you just get on your electronics and you watch what you want to watch. That came from somebody sitting down praying with them. That came from some Bible studies yeah. around the house. That came from actually walking and living a life in them scenes. Yeah. So if you really want to know and you want to increase your talent, you can ask Sister Simon. Yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. She'll, she'll, she'll give you right. Not only Sister Simon, but yeah. 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 See what you got and ask. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And they'll be right. willing to give. Right. So I just want to hear the Lord say, well done. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. In the 21st verse, the servants stood in the judgment of their master. Hallelujah. Hebrews 9, 27 through 28 says that it is appointed unto men once to die. Uh -huh. right. Then the judgment. Just ask those servants stood in the judgment of their masters. Yeah. We're going to have to stand in the judgment of our masters. Yeah. He's going to look at the book. Everything that we've done, yes, sir, is going to be written. That's it. Man. Right. Recorded. That's it. But if we've asked for forgiveness, if you confess your sins, it is faithful and just. Amen. 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 Amen.
righteousness. Yes, yeah. If we've done that, we repented and turned from our sins. Yeah. We pull out to where we, right. when we was acting up. Yeah. It's going to be covered by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. So God isn't going to be able to see it. <laughs> see, he casts it in the sea and remembers it. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Joseph. Yeah. No more. So if we're not serving God and you yeah. know that things aren't right no, yeah. in your life, it's yeah. time for us to confess our sins, to turn yeah. 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 If we've been serving God but we know that we're holding back, it's yeah. more than we yeah. can do. Yeah. It's time for us to do more. God is calling for, for greater. Okay. Yeah. This time is winding up. Yeah. Yeah. When I stand before God, I want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. service. Yeah. Yeah. For God's service, let's be all the way in God's service. Yes, sir. 
I need somebody to say, no more secret service. No more no more secret service. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. We have someone to pray with you, evangelist, prophetess Camilla, yeah, yeah. evangelist Jackson, anyone who might need prayer this morning. Yes, we had a word to go forth and someone, my heart might be touched. Yeah, yeah. Time to serve, time to worship, time to get ourselves straight. It might be your last time. You don't know, last time to serve. We offer it this time.
benediction from our speaker this morning, Minister Joseph Brown. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Say these words. Oh. 